Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Click Me Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a Click Learner, and in this video, I will share my learning about the joins. So, joins are basically a SQL concept which is used to join the two tables. And uh, you have different kind of joins like uh, inner join, outer join, left join, or right join. So, uh, we will gonna explore this with a similar data set that I have used in my last video, uh, where I have ex uh, explored or uh, given you the information about the concatenation keyword which basically uh, you know join again concatenate or join the um, two data sets into one where it will append the data set having a similar columns and introduce the new columns if uh, there are any new column in a new data set okay so um, let's go back again in the edit script and uh, use the different kind of join syntax that uh, click you has so for this we will first go into edit script and we will remove the concatenate keyword because that's what we're gonna do we will simply put the join keyword here now this join keyword uh, if again we are not uh, giving any table name it will gonna take the last loaded table name uh, which is customer but uh, if you want to specifically uh, define the a table name with which we want to have the join then we will again use the uh, the same concept that we show that I showed you in the concatenate video where we will introduce these small brackets and put the table name into this into those brackets okay so uh, so this join uh, is basically uh, if you are not specifying any inner outer left or right join with this syntax then it will be a outer join which is similar to uh, the concatenate keyword which uh, and uh, uh, this will basically take all the columns from all the tables that you want to join and uh, uh, you know show you all of the data uh, as a one data set so we will just click the save and when we will re reload you will see that there will be no change in the final outcome so as compared to our concatenate because both are similar in nature reload okay and now you can see uh, there is no change in this outcome or this data resulted data set because uh, it contains all the records from all the tables and that's what we did in the uh, concatenate uh, keyword also so let's go back to the edit script and explore some other joins so uh, let's introduce the inner join so for that we will put inner just before the join keyword and uh, we will save this and see the result so before we see the result I'll just tell you quickly about the inner join inner join basically uh, uh, you know produce the output based on the common records so if both the tables have some common records like ID or first name or last name then it will gonna produce the result accordingly but if we look at our data set that I showed you in uh, the last video the where I use the concatenate keyword there is no similarity so ideally it should not produce any results so let's see that click on reload and click OK so yeah as I mentioned uh, there are no similar records between the two data sets that's why um, uh, there is no value uh, that this front this table box will show you so this is something you know uh, probably a business condition that's what we want to achieve and uh, there are uh, so many instances there you know you will be having a similar records in two or you know three different tables and you want to produce one combined data set based on the common records in that case you can use this inner keyword with the join so let's go back and see other joins like uh, left or right so we will just remove the inner and we will input the left join and click on save and uh, let's let's tell you about the left join left join is basically uh, in a simple english language it will take all the records from the first table and the matching records from the uh, table with which we want to have a join so all the records from this table and the matching records from this table so we'll click save and reload and we will click okay and you can see 
that uh, since there are no matching records between the two tables it has just produced the result from the very first table where we had the historical records and there is no email address right and uh, again let's explore the last option which is right join we'll go to the edit script and uh, instead of left we will use the right join okay so save and uh, as you know it is very straightforward that uh, right join will be the opposite of left join so all the records from the table with which we want to have the join and the matching record from the uh, base table or you know the table which is the last table reload okay so now you can see the data set has now changed uh, where it is only taking the data from the second table or the right table which is towards the right side of the join statement so uh, these are basically you know um, four different ways uh, by which you can join the data and uh, achieve the outcome according to your business condition so uh, i hope uh, you will find this useful with all of these basic examples however in real time scenario you know uh, you will be having the similar instances where you will first need to understand what you really want to do with the data, all the different data sets, what conditions you want to you know, uh, use like left join or right join and then you know it will be very easy for you because the syntax is very simple. So I hope uh, you will find this video useful and uh, I will meet you in the next video with some uh, new concept. Till then, bye bye.